Uh, enjoying the Concord Food Co-op. All right, let well, let's get a little update. As long as uh, well, while Peter's coming in, uh, we had the talent show for the uh, the Coalition to End Homelessness in Concord. And how'd it go? That was that was uh, this past Saturday. And you know, instead of me telling you, I thought I'd read a few quotes. From oh, people, that's, people that's even better. That's even better. The talent show was a superb event with a with such great community involvement. Another quote. Perfect. It was wonderful. A lot of fun. Enjoyed the great variety of talent and the high standard of the performances, but also loved the spirit of the enti- that the entire evening fostered. You really get the sense that Concord cares. The evening far exceeded my expectations. Loved it. Oh, that's awesome. These Another aren't quote. all from you, right? No. no. Okay. <laughs> I've got names. I'm just checking. <laughs> okay. The event was simply wonderful. Loved the venue, the performances, and, of course, the beneficiary. Another quote. Last one. What an incredible evening. So impressed all around. Love the variety of acts. Can't wait for the for next year. Look at that. So wow. uh yeah, it was it it was just awesome. You know, the Bank of New Hampshire stage was great. It was just perfect for it. As they would say in Variety magazine, Buffo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, so bit, quite a buzz out there. Every anyone that attended just absolutely so who loved won? it. Uh, Becca Mara, um, she did that uh, Scottish uh, tune that she wrote uh, like seven years ago. Oh, that's awesome. Um, and actually, Concord TV filmed it, and uh, that should be uh, uh, available later today if I, if I get the uh, uh, production from them. I shall be able to post it to Concord Coalition and Homelessness website. Concord and, TV rocks. And their, and their <laughs> yeah. Facebook page. Uh, hopefully, it's, it's available today. Oh, that's great. So is, there, is it a bittersweet thing for you? It's over. <laughs> it, 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 it's over, and you immediately— Because you've lived this for, like, what, eight months? Uh, that was a full year we've been playing yeah, this. Yeah. 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 But we're already—we uh, had our wrap-up meeting last night, and we're already, you know, set, setting the date for next year. So uh, you don't get much breathing time. It already You already start thinking, well, you know, what what do we need to do differently to tweak, tweak, tweak it a little bit? So yeah, what, I know, what, but what look at all the— um, Sorry, sorry. Better, right. better access to the bar and the food. Uh, those are those were hello. Super, yeah, <laughs> that's more of an that's more of an infrastructure no, kind of thing, isn't it? Yes, yeah. they're there. Yeah, Our right. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Right. so uh, that's where you get the great quotes from. You know. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, but you know, it. I was surprised that everybody really wanted to see every act. They stayed in their seats, and then at intermission is when they got up. I expected people to be. And you know what really uh, surprised me too? One of the acts, uh, Brenda Perkins, a real estate uh, professional here in town. Uh, she was doing a poetry reading. Nice. Now, I write poetry, but I don't like poetry. I don't like poetry. And I was like, okay, that's where I'm going to get a beer. But she wrote a poem like four uh, uh, four months ago about a homeless individual she knew that passed away. So, And you couldn't leave, could you? No, yeah. no one did. It yeah. was it was it was wonderful. Um, and so even even you know where I thought that might be an act that uh, you know people will probably get up and that'll be sure. the opportunity. They all stay in their seats and the performances were great. You know the the mix of it and the, well, so. I think I think one of the best compliments you got in several of those comments was the variety, right? Because if you have like ten, everybody just sings. Then it's like, okay, guy, it's another song. It's another singer. But if you have a variety of yeah. talent, I think the show itself is much better. Yeah, the, give me the plate juggler. Yeah, the, the, the dog tricks were <laughs> oh, great. Yeah. That, See, was exactly, exactly. that was phenomenal. Yeah. Um, Stupid dog tricks. Yeah, go and the uh, Concord Community Players, uh, their little skit was, was wonderful. So, you know, between the lights, the music, the venue there, it was just, just it was great. Oh, that's People awesome. People that's were, awesome. A total, you know, total money raised? Uh, gross was about thirty three for and for a first thirty three thousand. Thirty three, thank you. And That's so awesome. for a first uh, year event, I thought that was wow. superb too. We had you know over forty sponsors, so really mm-hmm. appreciate you know Concord mm-hmm. Eye Center again was a right. lead sponsor and, yep. and for them to step up and that encouraged a lot of others I think to. Um, and, and individuals I saw afterwards said, you know, I'm bumping up my sponsorship next year. This was this was great. Oh, so, that's awesome. That's so wonderful. We're you off. Know, we're off. To well, races. you know, and and there are some. Signature events, and we've had the pleasure of working with the Concord. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, the Boys and Girls Club of Central New Hampshire, right? Yeah, and yeah. their event Hampshire. coming up next Thursday night, the Taste of New Hampshire. Yes, that 14th year that has become one of those must attend events in Concord. Mm-hmm. You are well on the way to be yeah, one of those. Right. Oh, we have to do this as well, which is a good place to be. Yes, you know, uh, we almost sold out. We were 16 tickets shy of a sellout. Oh, that's so great. That's again, wonderful. That's, that will happen. That next feels year. good. I'm, that I'm feels sure. good. Well, because everybody uh, from everybody last Saturday night went home and told all their friends on Sunday. God, right. you just you missed a great show last night. Mm-hmm. But it's uh, a very involved 
process, and I, I don't mean to take time from our guests, but it's a very involved process because, I mean, we had the sign-ups, we had the, you got the tr- auditions. The auditions. Yeah, right, yeah. The, it, it's very time-consuming. It's not just, okay, we're going to have this thing show up, keep our fingers crossed, yeah. it's going to work. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of back work on this. Yeah, you know, the good news is, you know, we had a great committee um, that set up all the rules for it and, and, and everything else. So, um, you know, we now have... Uh, a great program, so we're just following our. You, you built a template for this yes, now. Yes, we have which a template now, and, and and so next year I think will be a third of the work. Because I remember when you started. I remember the day you came in and said, "Okay, we're going to do this talent show." I'm like, "Seriously?" Um, and then you started talking. I'm like, "Okay, well, no, he's talking me into this." Okay, yep. keep yep. going, keep yep. going. Yep. Um, but when I first started, I thought, "Wow, you're you're that's I can see a lot of potential downside on this." There wasn't any. You pulled it off. Oh yeah, it it and, and again, it great great crew. Uh, you know, volunteers that uh, and all the volunteers bought their own ticket to be there. So you know, wow. you know, it would be um, no free know, rides. I yeah, like that. Jennifer, yeah. are you willing to judge this as a catch? You have to buy your own ticket. You know, so everybody, I you know, I'd like you to help, but you also you know need you know we're asking everybody that to, if to you're help. taking a seat, yeah. <laughs> you know, you would be taking a seat. So you know, but, you'll have to buy a ticket. But if you're going to go to that, it's a no brainer. It's like, well, of course I'm going to buy a ticket. You know, it's not like I don't know, Greg's. You know, uh. and 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 I think in in part that's why uh, the 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 volunteers for it were so strong and so dedicated. You know, they were actually paying to help. You know, yeah, so right. they were that's awesome. That was the the you know the 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 strongest uh, group I've ever worked with. On, Last on question event. before we move to Angela and Amanda. Okay, um, is the money earmarked for anything in particular? Uh, general general funds. Okay, right. but it will it, it's obviously earmarked for helping individuals find homes. Yep. Yep. Okay. Let's see if we can tackle the what problem. What they do. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you want to do the intros this morning? Um, oh, please read the intros. Oh, okay. I don't want to have to put on my glasses. Okay. No, no. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, <laughs> this morning, using character strengths to enhance wellness. We've been called characters. Is that a strength or not? You have a lot of wellness. <laughs> okay. We have, well, good, yeah. we, have, we have good wellness. I think we should Lord be poster knows we are children characters. for this yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, Angela Bergen is a uh, health uh, psychology PhD candidate, mental health clinician who takes a strength-based perspective, also a wellness educator and consultant, helping health healthcare providers implement lifestyle medicine programs into their practice to improve patient outcomes. You can find her online at Angela Bergen, B-E-R-G-N dot com. Good morning, Angela. Morning. Welcome. Thank you. And Dr. Amanda Hagnauer, lice- I did it right. You did. Oh, thank you. Nice. Thank that you. was good. That, that was, was smooth. Really yeah. <laughs> but always ask afterwards, never before. Uh, Dr. Amanda Hagnauer, licensed primary care naturopathic doctor in the state of New Hampshire, earned her doctorate from Southwest College of Naturopathic Medicine in Tempe, Arizona, nice place. Uh, as a naturopathic family doctor, she sees patients of all ages. Uh, Hagnauer Holistic Health, located in? Warner. The greatest town Warner. in New Hampshire. Thank you. <laughs> Warner, New Hampshire. You can learn more by visiting uh, H, the, the number two, health.org. H2health.org. Uh, what's the H2? How? Why? Water. H2O. Ah, Keep yourself okay, hydrated. Okay, thank you. Okay. Nice. I knew there was yeah. something there. Yeah, okay, well okay. done. Okay. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you so much. Glad to have you here. Thank you. Uh, so, character strengths, which seems like a nebulous concept, how do I take that concept and turn it into something positive and something tangible? Excellent question. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. done. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You guys have fun. Thank you very much. <laughs> done for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> well, we were sort of chatting about that on our way in, too. And so because it's such a very generalized topic, you can take it in so many different directions. Mm-hmm. And so when I was thinking about it, I came back to naturopathic medicine. It's um, treat the individual. Yep. It's really focus in on where they're at, you know, within their life. Right. And trying to, and of course, you have your labs and your pathology and all that wonderful thing, you know, those things as well. Right. But then really fine tuning it and using their their strengths, mm-hmm. so you can actually enhance their actually, you know, their their diagnosis and their their outcome. Mm-hmm. Do do what you refer to as strengths. Mm-hmm. Do some people even realize they have these strengths? Ooh, yeah, they not don't. All. Oh my goodness. When I'm sitting and I don't know if this is with you as well, you can be sitting there with a patient and they're like, you know, it's like they're putting all these you know, they're putting everything out on the table. Right. But then I'm going, you have to 
give yourself a pat on the back. Mm-hmm. One, you're here, yeah, which right, is right. huge, and you're taking the initiative to move forward, and you know in your gut and your heart that there's something going awry. Mm-hmm. Right. And so you're taking your health into your own hands, and like you have to give yourself some credit for that. And it's absolutely mm-hmm. huge. And so then as you're working through the process, all of these different other character strengths are coming up to the surface. And so again, they're taking they're really being their own health advocate. So Angela, when you when you talk to people and and you point out, well, that's a strength, they're like, Really? Mm-hmm. It's true. There's a lot of people that are surprised that something so common and just so normative to them is considered to be a character strength. So now once you've helped them identify mm-hmm. what they're already doing, yay. Yeah. Um, how do you how do you now get that to be the guiding light for other good behaviors? Well, you use your character strengths so in you know in positive psychology, which I just had graduated actually since the last time I saw you. So Congrats. I graduated. Thank you so much. Give me updated <laughs> stuff yeah, here. Yeah. 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 Well, come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I had written my dissertation on character strengths and physical and mental health outcomes. So it was very interesting to see some of the research side of character strengths of what Dr. Hegnauer is seeing in the clinical world, which is, it's just beautiful. So when it comes to character strengths, there's an entire nonprofit called the VIA Institute on Character that's dedicated Mm -hmm. to providing and sharing research that's been done on their list of 24 character strengths. So we're talking about 24, 24 individuals. What, what, what are some more? What are, yeah, yeah. Give us you know, some, I'm, I'm, yeah, some yeah, examples would that. be helpful. So things like creativity, honesty, humor, perspective, leadership. Okay. We got two of those. Right? Well, no, we got, <laughs> I'm we not, got the I'm, it up. <laughs> I'm tallying it. It's not, I'm doing those two. You know. <laughs> <laughs> That's all coming out. It is. Yeah. It is. So in the research, there's interventions that you can actually utilize to take somebody's character strengths, use them on purpose, use them in new ways, use them more frequently, and that is just associated with more positive outcomes. Now, see, that, and, and that makes sense. Uh, we've talked uh, many times about tragedies, whether it's a death in the family, uh, a national tragedy, whatever. It usually manifests itself in terms of society with humor. Could be dark humor, gallows mm-hmm. humor, Ugh. bad humor. And yet. But that's how they choose to deal with the issue. Breaks the ice, then the doors are open. Uh, but without that, everyone else, just they just kind of walk around going, mm-hmm. huh, yeah, okay. Nobody wants to talk about it. They make a bad joke. People go, oh, well, no. And then, boom, the floods open. So I can see that as a strength. Mm-hmm. But, but I don't see how an individual would make that correlation and say, oh, I, you know, I have leadership capabilities or skills. But that's why and, they're there, just point it out. Exactly. Yes. When you ask but, somebody <laughs> questions about... So it, so it really has to be somebody that is guiding them or pointing it out and, and suggesting. I don't know that somebody would be so introspective to say, I have this, and so I'm going to use that to my... Exactly. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah, somebody could be like, and I'm totally OCD, and then you listen to what their whole life is about. It's like, no, 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 wait a minute. You're organized. Yeah. It's okay. Yes. You're yeah. putting things in the right. To, you're, you're, it's a good thing for you. It's working for you. I in haven't your life. cleaned the house. The dishes are in the sink, but they're incredibly task oriented. When right. okay, so this part of their behavior is like, yeah, 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 whatever. Uh, but this one, if they have a job or have, boom, laser focus. That's a skill set, man. Right. And but all you're <laughs> yeah. thinking about is, I never get the dishes done. Right. You know, and, and so you're you're. It's it's like you have to accentuate the positive. But then they yes. turn around and exactly. make that to you need to identify. Okay, so you are task oriented. Now this has to be a task. Once you identify that and realize it's not just, eh, I'm just lumbering through the room and the, mm-hmm. the little hairballs are floating by. <laughs> you know. Okay, you need to make that a task to yeah. clean. Blah blah blah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I didn't look. Then it's a good looking thing. at it that way. Yeah, no, right. I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, well so, so really, you you got to start your journey by becoming self aware. A little absolutely. bit. Absolutely, absolutely. I think it's so easy to be so consumed with your everyday life, mm-hmm. whether it's a health concern, whether it's drop offs and pickups and <laughs> dinners yeah. and this and that. But, but, but it's true yeah. because life keeps coming at you. Yeah, absolutely. And you're just keeping up. <laughs> yeah, well, and 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 that's how people go through their lives is. This is just all coming at me when really life is how we react to all that stuff Ooh. that's coming at us. Absolutely. I so, so agree. And I see that every day, too. It's your reaction. And, right. of course, in my world, that's going to trigger all these different immune responses. Mm-hmm. And then it just kind of goes from there. But it is. It's when you are in your everyday life 
something comes at you, whether it's a trauma, tragedy, or whatever it may mm. be, mm-hmm. and it's how you react and how that triggers everything inside. And then we go to all of our character strengths and try to pull up these positive things and say, oh, it's okay. Yeah. Instead of going off the deep end, it's like, okay, I'm going to step back. We're going to kind of put everything together and then make, you know, you're able to make that decision as you're moving forward. You make it sound so. like a defense mechanism. It is. Oh, I think it is. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Right. Or it can be. It absolutely can yeah. be. It's kind of like um, making a joke in the in the light of a tra- right. tragedy. Um, it is. It's kind of like, well, that's the way that I'm going to handle things, but that's okay. I think it is. It's mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. You've got to get through your day. You have to wake up and put your two feet on the ground and move forward. So I look at it as positive. So we're now Dr. Bergen? Yes. Okay, good. We have to Delightful. Take a, we have to take a break. <laughs> Dr. Bergen, Dr. Hegnauer, Dr. St. James, Dr. Kelly. <laughs> we will be back right after this. Back to the doctor show. Well, yeah, no, they they they, they um, um, handed me the um, strengths chart. Oh, what, what are your neurological superpowers? Yeah, I like a little. I love yeah, that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. Uh, appreciation of beauty and excellence. Okay, bravery, creativity, curiosity, fairness, forgiveness, gratitude, honesty, hope, humility, humor, judgment, kindness, leadership, love, love of learning, perseverance, perspective, prudence. <laughs> No. Uh, self-regulation, yeah, no. Uh, social intelligence, spirituality, teamwork, and zest. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Soap, so, is, soap is important. So my question oh, is, you know, uh, you know, how do you actually implement this or, or the knowledge of this? I mean, do you come in and you pull out a little checklist and say, I, I'm, I'm, here, I'm going to determine what your, your, your strengths are? Or, or is it more just as you're having a dialogue, you're like, oh, I see this individual is probably organized. I'm going to use that. You know, how, how does it actually work? <laughs> for me, for me, it's very, it's a, a bit more research based again. So the VIA Institute on Character on their website, which is VIA, V-I-A Institute mm-hmm. dot, no, VIA Character, sorry, dot org. And they have a questionnaire that you can take. It's a free survey and there's 240 questions. So they're asking 10 questions per strength. Wow. And at the end, it spits out the whole list of 24 because the idea is that we all use all of these strengths at different times. Right. But all of us have a unique set of what's called our top five signature strengths and that what we does, use more frequently. What does that frequently. tell you about a person? Like Greg's top five are different than hers. Exactly. Than... So what it tells us is those are their core values. And when we're looking at their strengths and the way that they approach their life and the way that they cope with stressors and, and different challenges, these are the strengths that they happen to call on most frequently. So if you take those strengths and you educate them a bit more about other ways they can implement them, then you take a situation that may be challenging and you can overcome it more easily. Ah. Well, speaking of, speaking of stress, I was looking at a, a survey, oh. <laughs> uh, and I thought this was interesting. Uh, the headline was, one in five Americans believe they have an undiagnosed anxiety disorder. And it said, anxiety, always been an uncomfortable fact of life. 2,000 Americans believe they do. One in five say they feel so anxious, uh, they believe they are dealing with this um, uh, undiagnosed anxiety. So what are their biggest triggers? Work was listed as number one source of anxiety among respondents, with just under half listing it as their most frequent trigger. That's followed by social events are going out at 47, financial worries, 45%, romantic relationship issues, uh, 40%. Uh, among respondents who admit to feeling embarrassed by their anxiety, 58% it said it's because they believe they should be a stronger person, and another 53% said they feel isolated and different from their peers. Uh, I definitely, I see that. Do you that. see that? I see it every day, and it's, to me, it's heartbreaking mm-hmm. to me. Um, because it's, is it self-worth, like you said? And it's just they don't have that. They, I'm just, there's, it's very general. Right. Um, you know, very general. And so to me, it's, you know, why? Is it society causing that? Is it behavioral? Is it their upbringing? What, whatever it may be. But to me, it, it really is heartbreaking that folks have such a difficult time even just going out. Mm-hmm. And so, mm-hmm. like, that should be fun. 
And so I guess that is, first of all, thank you for, um, Angela, for, you know, bringing that to my attention, like the um, the checklist. Mm-hmm. Because for me, it's like mm-hmm. I use journaling and that type mm-hmm. of thing and during conversation and mm-hmm. it sort of comes up. But to have that list and be able to say, able to go to that checklist yes. and then a couple few minutes down the road after we've really worked on things to come back and, and see where they're at. And because even moving forward, I know I'm kind of going off topic here, but um, even you, you, again, don't really realize the progress that you're making until you go back and say, mm-hmm. look at the first two checklists. Mm-hmm. And because then even, even during that time, they're like, oh, oh my gosh, I really am implementing what we've talked about. Yeah. And like this wonderful woman comes to mind when she first came in to me, her, we, we got chatting and her goal was to get to the top of Mount Washington. And I had diagnosed her with Lyme disease and this and that. And she's like, there's no way I can get to the top of Washington. But that's the goal. She got to the top of Washington, Mount Washington. Mm -hmm. And I think it was diet and lifestyle and really, truly believing in herself, Mm -hmm. pushing all the diagnosis aside. And so she was able to utilize like these type of checklists, I guess you can say, and these character strengths in order to get her up to Mount Washington. She had to pick up the pieces a little bit when she came back down, but it's okay. (laughs) But it's all good. But it is is okay because, again, if you could just change their mindset from, okay, there's no way to... No, I, yeah. I'm going to find a way, but use what they already have yeah, exactly. to help push them forward. And sometimes yeah. you understand their strengths as you go. So just in hearing that story, right, we do something called strength spotting, which is when you hear a story or you encounter somebody and you can identify their strengths. So I'm hearing bravery in that individual. I'm mm-hmm. hearing hope. Yep. I'm hearing perseverance. Tenacity. Like, absolutely. So they, like, I'm going to stay at this. Yeah. 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 So the failure to identify these strengths, how is it affecting my wellness? I think, you know, coming from a mental health standpoint and what you were talking about with stress and anxiety, I think we have this automatic negativity bias in the way that we view ourselves in diagnoses and in mental health. There's this deficit-based model that's looking at symptoms, things that are wrong with you. And if you have enough of them, Mm -hmm. you get a label. And, you know, I understand that diagnoses are, are important when it comes to treatment sometimes, but at the same time, I think they can be limiting and when we're talking about some of these same things, I think if we come from a strengths based perspective and we focus on what's right about them, what's good, then it ch- changes the conversation. Well, this is great. Dr. Angela Bergen, Dr. Amanda Hagnauer, Greg, Concord Food Co op. Wow, time flies. <laughs> Concord Food Co-op.